Hey, what's up, guys? So I've got kind of a cool circuit to show you, but first let me ask you, if I gave you two NPN transistors and four 1K ohm resistors, could you build me a voltage regulator that could power something like an Arduino board with an input voltage uh, like from 10 to 20 volts or something like that? And I know a lot of you are immediately thinking, well, of course I could build that regulator, but the components would have to be different. Uh, so I know I, lo I love circuits like this that are kind of unique, but um, and this is actually based off of something an engineer showed me uh, a couple years ago that I had never really thought about, but it's kind of interesting. So if we just take a quick look here at the NPN transistor, and by the way, these are 2N3904 transistors, which I have literally hundreds of, maybe even thousands. But uh, this is a standard NPN bipolar junction transistor, BJT. And uh, looking at the symbol here, um, what we're actually doing is applying a voltage across the emitter to base. So we're actually reverse biasing the emitter base junction there. And as you increase this voltage here, eventually you're going to conduct a current through the emitter to base. And uh, of course, this happens when you hit the breakdown voltage of that junction. And so it's kind of like a Zener diode. And that's exactly what we're doing here in this circuit to regulate voltage. It just so happens that this voltage here is about 8 volts. Of course, that varies between what your transistor uh, is, the temperature, and a million other things. But, you know, so it's kind of a crappy Zener diode. But... It works in this circuit, so check it out. I've got, I've got over here, I'm pulling it out, a prototype of this here on the breadboard. And you can see the two NPN transistors there, uh, the four 1K ohm resistors. And over here, we're powering in a, just a little Arduino board running a blank sketch. Up here, we, you can see the 20 volts we're applying to the board. Uh, and the output voltage is about 3.3 volts, so not too bad. So let's just get back quickly to what I was showing you here by setting up the NPN as basically a poor man's Zener diode. So what I'm going to do is apply a current straight through the emitter to base using the source measure unit, and we can actually look at that breakdown voltage. Okay, so there you have it. We are um, going to source a current through the emitter to base using the source measure unit. We're just going to put uh, 10 microamps through here to start and we'll measure the voltage. So let's go ahead and hit that. And there you have it, just about 8 volts. And if we increase that current, let's go to 20, 30, 40, 50 all the way to a tenth of a milliamp, and we're still at about 8 volts. So, not too bad. I was just testing it out, so even if I kind of squeeze it with my finger, you can see the voltage sort of changes, so it is very dependent on temperature. So it's not going to be the greatest uh, reference for a voltage regulator in the world, but hey, if you're in a pinch, uh, this could work. So let me show you the schematic real quick. So the topology of this circuit may actually look pretty familiar. Um, if you actually were to just Google uh, a trans, an NPN transistor-based voltage regulator, you would find something very similar to this circuit. Uh, and, and by no means is this ever going to compete with um, a linear regulator, you know, actual device that you buy. Uh, but again, you know, if you're in a pinch or you just want to demo out uh, this circuit, it's kind of fun to play with and, uh, and learn from. Uh, but, you know, the, the voltage regulation is pretty bad. It's, you know, depending on your loading out here, it's not going to be great. Your input voltage plays a role. And, of course, like we talked about, the temperature and the variances in the transistor are going to throw things off. But either way, it's kind of a cool circuit. So over here we've got our input voltage into the circuit. This is the regulator transistor here. This circuitry down here is all to set up the reference to regulate the output to. So right here you see that other NPN transistor set up as our Zener diode. So through a 1K ohm resistor, 
we set up the 8 volts right here, that breakdown voltage right here. That 8 volts is then divided in half to 4 volts right here using the, the, uh, the two 1K ohm resistors you see there. Now you have 4 volts at the base, then you've got the emitter base uh, voltage drop there. That drops another 0.6 or 0.7 volts off of that. Then you end up with a regulated output voltage of about 3.3 volts. And that's all there is to it. I added the fourth 1K ohm resistor out here just in case you don't have a load out here. It's going to regulate pretty high without any load. So I threw that out there just so it maintains the 3.3 volts. And, uh, and that's all there is to it, really. So if we take another peek here at the circuit, I'll just vary the input voltage, voltage just to show you sort of how it works. So right now we've got 20. I'm just going to continue to drop it down. There's 14. It's still at 3.3 volts. Doing pretty good. 12, 11, 10. And then we start getting the, hitting the cutout point right about 11 or so volts so you know it's not too bad again you know if you're in a pinch and uh, you need to regulate voltage or maybe even vary these resistor values in here and make a 5 volt regulator and then charge your phone that would be kind of cool too so um so yeah that's pretty much all i really wanted to get into here with the circuit um, oh, of course, you know, one other thing. So watching out for your VN. If your VN voltage is too high, you then you have to account for the value here of this 1K ohm resistor that I've got uh, because the 20 volts minus the 8 volts here and that taking that V squared over R power dissipation on that resistor um, can get kind of toasty. So I was pushing like 30-something volts through this, and this was getting pretty pretty warm so uh, it still regulates though I'll go ahead and show you let's crank it way up oh, I have to there we go oh yeah it's starting to get toasty now 35 yeah yeah it's getting pretty hot so anyway just a side note there but uh, other than that just kind of a cool circuit I wanted to share with you so there you have it thanks for watching